Your company is known for providing off-grid solar hybrid systems, which include diesel generators. When do you expect to switch to 100% solar and storage solutions? Yeah, Enaware provides uh, transportable solar diesel hybrid solutions for labor camps, construction sites and other places that are not connected to the grid. Um, and the question is, when can we switch from something that still includes fossil fuels, diesel generators, to going 100% solar by using batteries? And the good news is that is a move that is currently in progress. Um, the costs of solar power have fallen by about 80% since 2010. Um, and the cost of batteries are still much higher, but they're rapidly falling as well, by about 10 to 20% per year. So we expect that in the, first, in the next year, we will have our first smaller installations that will be 100% solar battery. And in the next five years, I would expect the majority of our larger plants also to move to solar battery uh, solutions. Could you give us an update on the current status of Solar Shams program and your company's expansion on the local rooftop market? The Shams Dubai program was launched by Diwa uh, nearly a year ago as a solar net metering program. So uh, customers can install solar on their rooftops and use the solar power themselves, save on their electricity bill and, and sell any surplus back to the grid. Um, this has been now going for a year and we're very happy to report that we have our first plant running under the scheme. So we have a plant that is uh, operating on a rooftop, pro uh, providing power fully commissioned by Diwa. Um, the downside is that it has taken a year for us to get our first plant on the roof and that uh, we're only the sixth plant in total that has been installed under this program. Um, and that has a lot to do with the fact that this is new. It's a new program. Um, a lot of the regulations have to be fine-tuned. And um, to be honest, also the financing environment is not the easiest one um, at this moment under the net metering rules that are in place. So we believe that there is a great future for distributed solar generation in particular in this region. Um, but the rules probably will have to be a bit fine-tuned before we really see the same large number of megawatts that, that uh, are just being announced by Diwa in the utility scale space. Are Dubai citizens ready to go solar? People in Dubai are ready to go solar. We get a lot of inquiries, um, both from the commercial sector, where the economics are, are already uh, decent, um, but also from the residential sector. Um, when you talk about citizens, the, the unfortunate reality is that the citizens might be ready, but the electricity tariffs are not. Um, Dubai electricity tariffs are block tariffs. That means you pay more as you use more. And most citizens who live in apartments or even in villas spend half of the year paying only in the lowest slabs, the green or the yellow slab. Um, so when you calculate the payback time of a, of a solar system, um, it is a lot more attractive for people that use a lot, large commercial users, than for, for citizens. So I think it will take some reform of the electricity tariff structure before citizens are actually going to install solar on the roofs as Sheikh Mohammed's uh, vision, vision has for 2030, solar on every rooftop in Dubai.